Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calm Lands. I would, I'd be very tempted to go with the 400 pig one. Although it means that we'll need a lot more food in order to make it work. So what you do is you get your, you get your pig sty, so that, say that's 270 right there. 270 pigs. You have your pig sty up and running. At the beginning of the month, you go and you buy 10% of the number of animals that your pen can hold. So we got 270 pigs in total, which means that at the beginning of the month, we go and buy 27 pigs. And you put those in. Now they're zero months old then, and then at the beginning of the next month, they turn to one month old. Funny that. They don't consume very much at all during that first month. Month two, they don't consume very much at all either. And this continues, they don't consume very much at all. Month two, you buy another 27 pigs and you put those in the pen. Month three, you buy 27 pigs, you put them in the pen. And you can sense a pattern going on here. You keep doing this, you keep buying 27 pigs each time. And you keep doing that until the pen is full. You don't actually need to go and buy the last lot because on month 10, when you would be buying the final 27 piglets, uh, you actually got the oldest ones, the first ones you bought, they can start breeding at six months old and their gestation is four months. So what you actually end up with is at the beginning of month 10, the ones you bought right at the start will give birth to the final 27 piglets. And that will have your pen completely full. On month 10, so month 9, you've bought 27. Month 10, you no longer need to be buying 27 piglets. You've only got to do that to start with. From month 10 onwards, on the first day of the month, now, at the moment, I believe we're running it on a single day per month. And I was thinking that we might... Oh, no, we've changed it to two days per month. It'll change to that, I think, in September, which is why I'm trying to get everything done in one day here. I might actually change that so we have one day per month. Um, don't know yet. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Do you think we should do one day a month, or do you think we should go with two? I'm kind of... We can always, like, skip a day. That Animals don't eat anymore. They, they eat a set amount per month, not per day. So if you're running longer days, if you're running uh, more days per month, longer months, um, you don't have your animals eating any more than they would otherwise. Everything is calculated per month and not per day. Um, so we would... On, uh, from month 10 onwards, you sell the oldest pigs. They've just given birth, and then you sell the 27 oldest pigs. And then the next month, month 11, you've got uh, 27 new piglets, and you sell the ones just given birth, which is the oldest pigs. And you just keep doing that. So the majority of the pigs that are in your pig pen are not adult pigs, and they're not consuming very much feed. If you do it like that, you will make quite a bit of money from selling the pigs. Um, it's about 50% more than you would earn from just selling the crops straight away. So it's, it's nicely worked out for hardcore mode. You, you earn about 50% more than just selling the crops outright. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. So we make a load of money doing this. you just got to keep tipping the crops in and occasionally replenishing your root crop store so that you can put that in as well. Um, if we don't have an animal trailer and we don't drive every month to the animal dealer and sell the pigs that way, you still make money you still make a good chunk of money it's just not quite as much as if you do it with um the animal trailer and the best animal trailer to have is actually one that goes on a truck or we'd have to put it on a dolly uh here animal transport see that one has got 13 and we would need to be moving 27 out of the big 
pen, so we'd have to do three trips in order to be able to move them. This one here, however, we can put 27 pigs in that one straight away and then just drive off and we can sell them. This one here, I believe the money that you save in um, carrying them to market rather than selling them direct, I think this one pays for itself in 11 months. I believe it's 11 months. It may be less than that. I, I can't remember the numbers. Um, there was a a post. I put a link to the description where everything had been worked out in um, the Avery. I don't know which one it was. It was in a recent time lapse video where I was also talking about this. Um, so it's kind of worth it there is whether or not we actually want to be doing that trip every single day and where we would have our pig set up. Now, that's a big pig pen, that is, that we were looking at, right? So if we if we were to go and do this, there's our pig pen. That's, that's a big building. Now, initially, I'd be kind of looking at putting it down here somewhere we would do out level site and we would put the pig pen down here but that means then we've got to be driving from here i mean we could put a, a little bit of a lane from there rather than going down here and going across the bit at the bottom we could put a lane going up this way um but you still got to drive up there you've got to drive along the road over here um or in there and then come back to wherever the animal sale point is, which is back in here somewhere. Um, and we'd have to, we'd be doing that every day. Now, the other thing, of course, is if we've bought this area here, our pig farm could be here. Now, if the pig farm is here, then our daily trip would definitely be worth it. I wouldn't want to be, so if we, if we got two pig pens up here, I actually quite like the idea of doing the 400s. So we could start off by doing 20 pigs per day for nine months and then we sell 20 pigs per day until we've got the money to expand on that a bit and then get an extra 20 per day for nine months and fill the thing right up. It could be a possibility. Um, if you keep your pigs for longer so that the value of them increases a bit more, you end up losing money because of the amount of food that they consume the amount the amount of food they consume goes up compared to the value that they increase by the value they increase by starts to slow down a bit and the amount of food goes up a bit um i think actually the food go doesn't keep going up i think it stops but the value the animal increases by gets a little bit less each month and therefore what you end up with uh, is pigs that are consuming more food than they're worth. And that's kind of the bit that we want to avoid. You, you don't want to get into the situation where your animals are just not paying for themselves. So that is why we would need to be making sure... Let me go off down over there. That's why we need to be making sure that we would be selling our pigs at the beginning of every single month. Now, regardless of how we do it, um, we want to make sure that we sell them at the beginning of every month. Whether we transport them, whether we just do it ourselves, um, uh, whether we transport them doing it ourselves or we pay for them to be collected, doesn't really matter so long as you're selling your pigs at the beginning of every month you're still going to be making some money now this field over here if i'm doing barley up in that one this one down here we're going to want to do with canola and we can plant right now in august so after canola we're going to do corn we can still do, if we get this field ploughed and planted today with oilseed radish, then we can still plant tomorrow with canola. We will still meet that window. It would be a bit tight, but we would still be able to do it. So that's something that we can do. So we've got a load of planting still to do. Once that one's finished over there, we want to plough this field up and we want to do stuff here. So the next thing that we want to be looking at is where are we going to buy next? 
So I can do a bit of grass cutting over here. I'll leave that until September and then we'll do a bit of grass cutting. So I've got some trees that I can cut down here on the side. I kind of want to buy that one. That's 97,000, but there's a lot of trees there and that's why I want to buy it. The same for field six, that's 70,000 and field seven is only 66,000. And these are all, these are all options with lots of trees. And I like this idea. Then we can have that little bit there, which would, well, actually, we want to put the pigs over here. So we'll want to buy field 44 eventually, which is 160,000. Um, and 41 is 184. So that's like way more. But this here, 97,000, that seems pretty good. Now, let's do this via this one it's easier to look round, isn't it so if we go here it's like 60 grand to go and buy this piece over here there's not a lot of trees that we can actually access because you can't access all of them either i think it only goes up to about looking at the map i think it goes up to about where the edge of the tunnel is so there's there's a patch of trees right here that's about it we don't own any of this. This is all part of Field 7 here. So there's a patch of trees just there. And then there's like a line of them down to about here that we'd be able to get. There's really not very many coming in from number 7. Uh, six up here. It, we're, we're still the same. We're sort of looking... Where's the edge of it? So I'm kind of looking here that's the edge right there so we've got these trees here that we can cut down at the moment so we've we have got several if we were to get number six up here we've got loads of trees all the way up to here and then they come along to about this point so there's loads of them in there so there's a lot of trees right there that we would be able to get for about seventy thousand, or we buy up this. Now, we wouldn't actually own this bit in the middle here, but we would own all of this standing timber all the way over to here. Not quite that far. So it's about where my cursor is coming across there. There's a lane that goes through there. We'd be able to use that track, that forestry track. We would be allowed to use that one that comes out next to our windmill over here. Um, so we'd be welcome to use the forestry track if we wanted to. And we would have all of these trees down here on the slopes and this big area down here. So there's a lot, well, not that little bit there. There's a little tiny bit there at the front that we wouldn't have. But there's a lot of trees right in here, like massive great big area of trees that we would have. And there's money just sitting there waiting for us to come along and cut down, which I'm quite happy with. I'm, I'm quite happy with that idea. So there's a lot of money to be had there if we were to save up the 90 grand to go and buy it. The only way that we're going to get that 90,000, though, is cutting down trees that we've got over here. Now, we've got these little small trees, and I've already said I'm not going to bother with these little small ones. And most of what we've got over on this side around us is little small trees. There's a few bigger ones here. You can see here in a few places, so there's small trees there. These small trees up here, I'm not cutting these down because we kind of want them as a barrier before, like, between us and the edge of the map up here. Can't go any further than that anyway. Um, so we've, we've, there's a few trees up here that we could cut down if we wanted to. But I'm not sure that I want to cut too many of them down if I can help it. I don't think we're going to have much choice in the matter. I think cutting down trees, every tree that we can to start with, is going to be about our only way to make any decent money. Because this bit right here, this triangle, cutting this and making a bit of hay, yeah, that's going to make us uh, a little bit of money. But it's really not going to make very much. We've already found that with the money that we got from the hay here timber was definitely the way forward in order to be able to advance things a little bit quicker and it would be nice if we could do that now on here this is it's debatable whether i own this tree here i think i do i think that tree is ours 
So we could cut down these three. We've got these three trees right here. Not sure that I actually want to cut them down. But as many people pointed out, if we can remove a few of the trees and therefore have this a little bit more open, it would be better. Because these windmills, they actually rotate round on the top, as far as I know. Um, you won't see it on here, but I believe like part of the windmill does rotate round. It doesn't just stay solid on there. Like, there's a piece of it that turns to face into the wind. So you could have those three removed and that would give you better access to the wind coming through. I mean, even if it doesn't, if they didn't rotate and it just relied on angling those sails correctly to catch the wind as it came through from different angles, moving this tree would still benefit the windmill. So I'm thinking maybe we do want to cut down all three of these, cut them up, and then we can load them up and get them taken over to the sawmill. How are we doing over this way? We're about 1,400, so so far we've spent 500 in wages getting this field planted. We've almost planted it now. We still want to plough and plant that field down there as well. This is the slight problem with the hardcore series starting out is it just takes ages to do any of the jobs. So while that one is doing stuff there, I'm going to start cutting these down because we're going to need some more money. And I may as well get started on this work here. So we're going to cut all three of these down. I've talked myself into it. If I cut them that way, whichever way you cut the chainsaw is the direction that it falls. So I'll bring you up there like that and we'll cut this one up. Is that actually cutting the leaves off? I don't know, I'll find out in a minute. Turn around and have a look. Uh, yep, that's cut that one off quite nicely. Now, there is actually a tape measure mod, I just don't have it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop that one in half there, and then if we point at this, it's 9.6 metres long, 260 kilos. So it's a little bit heavy for picking up. Um, I will cut it in half. I can pick up both of these pieces then. They're a little bit short, but that's fine. So this one's four meters long. The other one is six meters long. That's fine. This one here is 15.6. So I actually just want to cut that one in half. If I can cut that one, if I can find like the halfway point on that one, that would be brilliant. Be about there, I'm thinking. So that is 7.7 .7 and 8 meters. That's perfect. So there's two that we've got cut there. I wonder if I can do something like that again. Let's have a look. Right. The only problem we've got is getting rid of tree stumps. And I would actually like to be able to get rid of these stumps here because they, they could be in the way. I suppose they're not really going to be in the way, are they? Okay, the sound is pretty cool. Let's run up through again like that. that. Seems pretty good. So I'm wanting to look at about 8 meters, which I believe was about where that texture changes on the tree. Seems to be about right. That'll give me a, a roughly 8 meter length. There we go. Right, you are 8.1 meters. Excellent. So then I want to want to do about the same again. So if I go here, we're sort of here. Okay. So then if I go up here, I'm thinking uh, it's going to be about there. That's my guess. For about 8 meters. <laughs> 5.9. Okay. So li li little bit out on that one. <laughs> li little tiny bit out. 11.3 on there, so I'll just chop you in half. That'll be fine just there, and that's 5.8 meters. So I'm going to get... Let's put this over here, and then I'll also get this other one. That one I should be able to pick up as well. Nope, 207 kilos. I can't quite pick that one up, but I do have the two pieces over here that I can pick up and move. 
So we get those. 640 euros have gone out in wage payment so far. Let's put that one there and get that one. Getting, I mean, getting something like bees. Because a few people said, you know, maybe we should do bees. Maybe we should do um, sheep to start off with or get chickens. You know, several people say get chickens because you make a fortune out of chickens. Um, yeah, all of these are good ideas, but you still have to go and pay out a load of money for them. You haven't completed anything at all. You just couldn't be bothered to turn around. Again, always the same. Always the same, isn't it? Just bring you up here. So we're on 810, which means that we've spent so far about 600 euros in wages. And I'll just finish this bit off up through here. Look, one more tree. That actually, I'm going to let that one carry on there. And we'll cut down the final tree over here. And we can then... Go and pick that up. Another tractor would be absolutely amazing, wouldn't it? All right, let's drop you down here, and I want to sort of do it around it. that kind of angle. Cut you off. Excellent. Right. Run down through the branches once more, like that. Now, yeah, I'm just going to randomly chop it and we'll see how long we got. That's 9.7 meters right there. Chop that one again. I've got a 4 meter piece. And then that'll be a almost 6 meter piece over here. 5.7 meters. There we go. And bring that one over here. So I've got um, two logs there. I've got three logs there to pick up. So there's five logs. And then this one here, we'll just chop it in half. That's 15.6. So that one is going to go there. Cut that one off. And that is 7.6 and 8 meters. Right. I see where we went wrong on there. We needed to go out a little bit. You can... It, it, like does the same pattern on the texture it's something handy to know for next time but we've run out of trees we don't own these trees over here these are not ours we would have to go and buy them i mean actually that one is like right on the border as is that one genuinely actually i think uh i think the borderline is actually right there I think that is where the border is. Uh, yeah, it is. Right, if we move back a bit, right. Well, if that's the case, we do own that. We do own that tree. We don't own those, but these two trees right here, these are our trees. We own these two, which means we can cut these down as well. That's going to be some more money. Uh, which way am I going to fail these trees? And yes, it, it it's a bit of a shame that we're chopping down the entire forest. But we kind of need the money quite badly at the moment. We'll have to plant trees elsewhere and later on to make up for this clear felling of everything. But we, 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 can't, we kind of need this. We need the money. There we go. Right. Okay, I think I've cleared everything off there. And that one, let's go here. What are you? 7.4. That's that's not enough. I can actually pick that one up. All by its lonesome. There. So I'll drop that one on there. And then you are 17.7 .7 meters, which is a little bit longer than I would like. So I bring that one. I'm going to make this one. Actually, this one I don't want to make too much longer because that one's just going to be really, really heavy. Uh, so I got a 9 meter and an 8.8. .8. It's still going to be quite heavy to move, but 
I think we'll do all right with that. And then there's one more tree that we've got right here. This one is a bit difficult to see. I know I'm running through bushes here all the time at the moment, so it's going to be quite difficult for you lot to see what's going on. really want to be doing it like that all the time, do we? You in there like that. The hired help has finished work. We'll go and check that one in just a second. So we're down to 733 euros. So we've spent probably in wage... See, how much have we spent in wages? We had like 1,400 and something to start with, didn't we? There we go. Chop that one off. Uh, well, we've spent about 700 in wages, haven't we? 1,400. Come on. Even I can do that. Let's chop that one there. What are you? You're 8.1 meters. That's hopefully... It's exactly t exactly 200 kilos. If I chop a little tiny sliver off of this one... Like that. That'll make it disappear. And it's now 199 kilos, which means I can pick it up. Ideal. Right. Drop that one down there. So I've got... One there, and then I've got this one over here, which is 17.1 kilo, uh, 17.1 meters, not kilos. I think it's there that I want to cut it. Let's just... Right. This one's a bit trickier to see what I'm doing. I think it's here that I want to cut it. Let's see. 9.3 and 7.8. Okay, I was a little bit out, but that's fine. So we've got a load of logs here that we can now load up and we can sell just as soon as I get back to our tractor. We used just over half the tank of seed as well, which it's not ideal. It sort of gives us an indication of how much we're going to need when we come to plant barley in this field. We're going to need a lot. This is a big field, actually. Wondering if we should sort of farm this as two separate fields. It might be better. Uh, also, we're going to want a pressure washer at some point. You don't have to have a pressure washer in the game. Like, it's, it's purely an aesthetic thing. You don't lose um, quality of machinery by leaving it dirty all the time. I do wonder if that would be interesting as a mod to you slightly increase the damage taken by the machine if it's left always dirty you know sort of represent maybe it getting um i don't know like rusting spoiling a little bit faster because it's always grubby and dirty i'm i'm not sure I'm not sure whether that'd be a good thing or not right we'll put you back in the shed anyway um i'm just gonna drop you down there and unhitch you like that so that field up there is done. I've got two choices now. I can either go on and do some ploughing in this field down here. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.